Okay, so this is my ultralight winter wild camp setup. Let's say for one night, could go for two nights. Um, weighed in at five kilos. That was with food, but without water. So I'll start off with the water. I've got a two litre uh, soya squeeze bag and a litre Nalgene bottle. My shelter of choice for this is the Rab Ridge Raider Hoot Bivy. Comes with eight V stakes and the pole. Then sleeping, I've got a cumulus down sleeping bag weighs about 650 grams uh, that's the sleeping pad the climate inertia x light skeleton frame pad the pump hand pump that goes with it got a seat to summit a silk uh, sleeping bag liner a uh, heat sheet silver space blanket to go underneath everything uh, what everything's on, this plastic sheet is a polycry ground top. So you put that down then you put your bivy on top of that. Got some dry socks to sleep in. If my socks that I'm wearing from walking are wet. Then moving on to the cook system. Got titanium pot. Titanium mug. Uh, a solid fuel stove. Uh, and fuel tablets fit inside uh, some matches, some water purification tablets, fire steel lighter, tin foil and a spork lovely fetching pink colour and the pots and the mug they all nest inside one another, all this goes inside it and it goes in that little net bag little microfiber towel to uh, wash up with and normally I would have a little Brillo pad with soap in it as well for cleaning pots and stuff up with. Got my little digital camera, take photos. I do a lot of filming on this phone on my Samsung that I'm filming this with at the moment. Then on the backpack strap, I've got a friendly Swede little uh, survival kit. Nothing fancy there. A little through night. Uh, it's a TI-3 I believe, yeah TI-3, uh, very very bright light, runs off of one AAA battery, got a little Photon, Photon 2 mini light, nice and bright, two capsules, one contains like paracetamol, allergy tablets, the other contains an emergency £20 note rolled up tight. So that goes on the uh, the strap of the pack. Then food. Normally I'd have a bit more food uh, as I've just had breakfast here. Got some super noodles. I'd normally have those for dinner. Maybe some meatballs and a cereal bar, energy bar, some drink mix. And then I'd normally have some porridge, a cereal bar or snack bar, energy bar and a hot chocolate. And I'll probably have a hot chocolate or a cup of soup as well with the super noodles as well at night. Then on to lighting. Got a Petzl Ticker 2 head torch. Spare batteries. Don't keep the batteries in it because it drains it. <laughs> then I've got this little lantern light. Unclip that so it's a torch. Slide that out and it turns into a lamp that you can hang from inside your shelter. Really useful. Comes in a little... Put it all in a Cuban fibre stuff sack. Then another little Cuban fibre stuff sack. I've got basic first aid kit, pills and plasters, um, lip balm, wet wipes, sort of so it's sort of hygiene as well. I've got a little bottle of multi-purpose soap and a little bottle of hand sanitizer. Uh, pen knife does everything, and then for a bigger blade, I've just got sort of a fixed knife, um, I can't remember where I got that from but paracord on the handle um, I think that is it uh, oh yeah and to hold it all in is 
this time was the Osprey Stratos 24 litre rucksack, really comfy pack. It's got an air core, sort of a uh, air mesh back system. In the pocket also I've got a little disposable rain poncho in case it did rain. Um, for warm clothing I've got that on because <laughs> it's cold. So gloves, uh, down jacket, thermal long sleeve uh, base layer, fleece, uh, waterproof over trousers, thermal leggings, beanie hat, so the gloves. Sometimes I also wear like a snood which is like a scarf and like a like a hat all in one um, and then new addition is this work light so I just carry that on the wild camps just as an extra bright light just to set up with and it's really useful for filming in the dark then if I've got to store anything outside the bivvy like my shoes and like the over trousers I'll just put in a black bag um, and the only other black bag that I use is that one there and that's just to keep all my sleep system nice and dry inside the rucksack in case I had to hike here in the rain and stuff so yeah not a lot of gear it looks like a lot but it's not a lot and it doesn't weigh a lot so really good so this is sort of useful for when I'm walking as well doing long distance walks um, and it's just one of the many different kit lists and kit setups that I plan to do so um just thought I'd show you that anyway. Uh, I've sort of rushed through it a bit because I don't want it to drag on too much. Any questions you have, uh, just let us know, like, just, you know, in the comments below, okay? And I'll get back to you and stuff. Um, but, yeah, hope it's given you a few ideas and whatnot, that sort of thing. Let me know. Uh, and, yeah, cheers for watching. Thanks. See you later.